What's going on guys? How we doing? Honey, how are you? Good. I'm going for the wind blown look. Yes. She is looking great today. Uh, me, you know, eh, whatever. Uh, I need to shave, but I have been going like crazy this week, guys. I'm at the new one acre property where I took the bee stings. And uh, we're hoping, you know, I'm not even going to trim around that area. To heck with that. So uh, I'm going to get plenty of footage here. And uh, yesterday started pay week. Cha-ching. And it has been a blessing of a month, hasn't it? Yeah. So you want to tell them what happened earlier that was just insane? Someone was uh, going way too fast and we almost collided because they're idiots. Someone tried to go in between the guardrail and my truck on an off-ramp, flew past me, <clears throat> and I mean, what would you say, 70, 80 mile an hour? Yeah, 80 probably. There was a car about 50 yards in front of me. The dude came past me, slammed the brakes on, slid sideways, and went right off into the ditch and took out like 100 yards of ditch line. It was insane. So, uh, did Doc stop? No, the guy was fine. But what an idiot. And uh, so here we are. And I'm going to get footage of this. This is all cut up, so I'll get mainly the back and uh, maybe some of the side. But we're kicking butt. We've only got uh, this one. This uh, we've, got, we've got five left. Five left, and we are done, so... Could be a good day and uh, got something super important to talk about for guys up here in the north because it's almost time that, uh, well, maybe it's dreaded, but for me, I think it's uh, money in the bank. So we'll talk about it. Let's get to work, guys. <laughs>
right guys I'm gonna finish that area there and uh, I'll talk to you in a little bit this is a beautiful place man a lot of work to do here so uh, hey talk to you guys soon I'm gonna get back to it okay guys uh, just got these two done that one the front yard is soaked you can see my tracks don't know why I've asked them to turn it off and turn it down but you can see yards are looking good so on to the last one oh thank goodness I'll tell you I am beat but uh, we will talk about something that's very important for us up here in the north big time money maker if you get into it so talk to you guys soon see you in a minute all right guys there it is last one of the day looks nice looks beautiful okay so here's what i wanted to tell you up here in the north we are about two weeks away from aeration season and overseeding so <clears throat> This weekend here, I'm going to say would be the last weekend you want to get your flyers out because you want to give people time to uh, get prepared for it. And um, yeah, this weekend, if I was going to be aerating, I would have my flyers out this weekend, at least here in the uh, central Ohio area. And um I'm not going to be doing any aerating. I'm pushing all my aeration over to Tim Her. Um, if he gets backed up, I have a, a backup plan for the aeration. Um, but I'm going to say I'm probably close to having 25 or 30. And I'd like to have them all done in one weekend. So, you know, I'm not sure Tim can handle that. I think he can, but you know, you never know because he's got aerations as well. So uh, we will see. I'll give him a call here soon, but he did my aerations last fall and a, a couple of them this spring. We didn't do a lot in the spring, but I guarantee you we're going to have a lot this fall. So um, you want to be thinking about aeration, guys, because early mornings is chilly, isn't it? Absolutely. Grass is soaking wet, yep. and it is time to get out and do it um, here within about two weeks and get our seed down. Fall's coming, guys. The leaves are starting to drop already. I will be putting the gator blades on next week to take care of what little leaves I have and um, starting to clean beds out with the blower, getting those leaves out into the yard, getting them chewed up. Um, but you need to be thinking about it. It's excellent money. How do you charge for it? Now, some people charge three times what the yard is. I usually charge, usually charge two to two and a half times what the cut is. Um, a yard like this would be right around 100, 110 bucks. And, um, that's how I do it. Now, what anybody else does, I mean, there's people all over the place. I've heard people say charge $500 for an acre. You wouldn't be aerating jack shit around here for $500 an acre. I promise you that. Because there's guys around here that it's doing it for a hundred and a quarter. And they'll get it all day long. Now, I wouldn't do it for a hundred and a quarter. But um, there's guys that do it. Uh, not me. No way. That is way too much work. And way too little pay. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed the cut on the new place today. It's a elite-esque type of property. And uh, I will say this. Heard a, you hear a lot of stuff on YouTube, right, honey? Like, oh, that guy don't know what he's doing. This, of course. Yeah, I mean, that's YouTube. You do not get properties like I have unless you know what you're doing. Okay? It's simple. It's that simple. And if anybody tells you any, I mean, you, you got to use your own head and say, well, if that guy doesn't know what he's doing, 
how the hell does he get all these nice properties? You may want to ask yourself questions sometimes. Just question what you hear. You know, look in the mirror and say, does that make any sense to me? And if it doesn't, then the person's probably just blowing steam out their ass. Because maybe they don't like a certain person or whatever. Hell, I do it. I don't watch tall grass channels. I think that's a crock of crap, but you know, that's me. People want to cut, go around cut tall grass for free? Go for it, man. I'm not cutting shit for free. You know what I'm saying? I'm in business to make a living to put food in my wife's stomach and mine and put a roof over our head. So, hey, guys, hope you enjoyed it. As always, Dr. Real was in the house and Miss Sarah. And we will see you guys probably, uh, well, maybe tomorrow. I've got some work to do tomorrow. See you then. Peace.